Good morning, party people. Welcome to The Breakdown with Nath and Johnny. What have we got today, Nath? Today we're checking out a band that I love featuring the singer of another band that I love. It's a double up. Oh, shut the fuck up. Don't be cruel. We're checking out Cruel, the brand new track from Broadside featuring Brian Butcher of the home team. Uh, I love Broadside. I love the home team. So this is a collab I'm really excited to hear. I like Broadside. I don't think I really know the home team. I so. feel like the home team are a band that's under a lot of people's radar. Um, pop punky, but more emo leaning. They're just fantastic. Liken them to another band for me. Well, now. On their last album, now. they had Vale of Maya, the singer Vale of Maya feature. Okay. They, it's, it's quite an interesting tone. I think he's got a great voice. Mm. I really like the band. I feel like they're like... They're kind of like a pop punk meets dance gap and dance. Oh. Yeah. So like it's really like kind of good guitar work and stuff. Right. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're going to jump this one now. It's Cruel Broadside. I'm excited. Don't uh, be cruel. Like thanks and subscribe. For being here. Follow the socials. Check out the merchandise. Donations link is there. If you want to put a dollar or two in there, it really does help us out. Uh, the channel does cost money to run. So yeah, any help that you guys can give us, whether it is just you know sharing our videos, popping some money in there, buying some merch. Uh, yeah. We just really appreciate it. So thank you very Sometimes much. Sometimes it pays for coffee. Three, two, one. Sexy. Sexy time. Oh, recording. Creepy. Funky. Even that has a bit of bass. That has a dance gap and dance vibe. Yeah, it does a bit. That drum, the disco beat, in every song makes me so happy. <laughs> Honestly, that song, just, that, that drum hits me somewhere deep in my soul. And it's I think it's my I mission like to make a song that is fucking horrible, but just put that drum in. And I'll just it. do it. Please do it. <laughs> Very long hair. What? He's got very long hair. Oh, I hate that I paused for that. Shift up. The 
found the money. I love that. That was pretty good. Yeah. I like both of their vocals. Great, great vocalists. Um, I thought the song was really cool. You are right. Brian does have long hair. Yes. Uh, yeah, I liked it. It's, it's definitely something that I would check out again and definitely check more out. Uh, that Brian's was more produced than other broadside tracks in a terms little of... A little less pop punky. Yeah, a yeah. little bit more polished, but I really liked it. I think that, that chorus is so catchy. Yeah, very catchy. Yeah, look, I mean, like, I don't think it's ever going to be my sort of go-to. Um, yeah. It was probably a little bit too much on the pop side for me without the without the flash of, you know, say, bands like uh, like the guitar intricacy and stuff of bands like, you know, Dance Gavin Dance and like even like Belmont and stuff like that to keep me really interested in, and, and constantly enjoying it. Yeah. But it was definitely catchy enough. For sure. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was different to what I expected, but really well done. That was so fun and dancey, which I really liked. Um, I reckon that song's going to go off live. We need to get Broadside back out here. Uh, Brian's vocals in that have definitely made me want to go and check out the home team. I'm not oh, sure if I'm I've listened to an album. Yeah, okay. great. I'm yeah, not sure if I've listened to them before. I'm sure they've come on Artist Radar. We uh, haven't done on the channel, and I don't think I've showed you them before. And I generally tend to be the one pushing the pop punk stuff towards you, so maybe that's why you haven't. But potentially, yeah, we'll definitely do that. Uh, I like the music video. Yeah, fun. It was fun. Uh, do you ever get sort of worried if you go and stay in places that, like, say, say it's like a, a road trip motel sort of place that I there don't is? Stay in places like that. I'm in a stage of life where I know I want uh, I have nice things. <laughs> I say you can tell recently. you don't have kids. A hundred percent. I am a dual income family, and yeah, when I when I go places, I'm like, yeah, I'm paying extra to stay somewhere nice. Yeah, it always makes me wonder about those places. If you're like, oh, I wonder if there's cameras in here, so I make it a conscious effort to make sure my penis is out as much as possible, mm. just to make them feel awkward. Yeah, uh, he'd be also, doing that even if no one was in the room. True, it's just for him. When are we going to stop? When are doing we going to stop? <laughs> Good question. Now, when are we going to stop with the Bible in the in the side drawer of every fucking hotel room? Uh, there's he's a, there's a lot of people that like the Bible. There is, but there's also a lot of people that don't, and there's a lot of people so that you don't are religious read it. that don't. You want to know what I did last time I was in a hotel room? You're a fuckwit. So I was a little bit bored. I couldn't sleep, and I couldn't watch TV or anything because, like, we're in a room with the, the kids and stuff. There's a hotel room, so I just like got the Bible and I drew. Tiny little penises throughout it so that people would open it and they're like, oh, a little penis. Oh. That's, I'm definitely, the people who want to read the Bible, I'm sure they'd love that. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect, I'm bored. Oh, I mean, I'm no I'm disrespect. Just like trying if to be super quiet. If you think that Johnny's a good dude, you genuinely think he's a good dude, <laughs> you don't know him. <laughs> okay, now this that just, okay, so on the penis drawing thing, uh, around the time after Super Bad came out, and you know how he's just that like, was based on just, Johnny. I just drew pictures of dicks, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, so when I was uh, going to TAFE, which is like our, our tradesman school, university sort of thing, uh, every time my buddy Rob, shout out Rob, who sat next to me, went to the toilet or something, I would take his workbook and I would draw a penis somewhere in it. And I'd do it like a character penis, like with a cape or with a hat or a little monocle. One mm. of them was drinking a beer, one smoking a cigar. Uh, and so we'd just be sitting in there like doing our doing our work and occasionally he'd just turn page and he'd just hear... Fucking hell, Johnny. <laughs> and everyone would just laugh because they know he's found another penis. I'm compensating for the fact I don't have much of one. So. <laughs> Got to make up for it constantly. I need to get off the internet. Oh, I've been saying that for <laughs> so long. Anyway, Cruel Broadside. I really liked it. What did you guys think? Comment below. I highly recommend giving them a go and also go check out the home team because, um, yeah, their last album, Bangs. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Don't draw dicks in Bibles. Draw dicks in Bibles.